Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm doing the Samsung SmartThings app on how to repair the Z-Wave network through the app. Now the reason why you do this is because it's a mesh network and if you modify the mesh network in any way, you will need to repair it in order for it to make the connections over again. So I'll go over how you do this with a drawing and then I'll show you how to do it in the app. So let's get started. Now this is a typical drawing of a mesh network. You'll have uh, your first device, your second device and third device, fourth and fifth device. They're all different device IDs and the network maps out what devices are closer to it and then in succession goes to the next device. So you are actually hopping from device to device and it makes a log of this or a mesh network out of this so that they'll all be able to communicate through the hub so the fifth device will communicate through the fourth device and so on and so forth. Now when you change things in your network and you move things around, let's say you have a plug-in device and you plug it into a different outlet that's farther away, you have then broken your network. So you must repair your network in order for it to re-log how the devices are laid out and how far the devices are from the hub. So in this example, I'm showing how if a device has been moved, it just needs to be repaired in order for it to go back to the original drawing, which is one through five. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, let's see how you go through and actually get the network uh, remapped in the software. Okay, so let's click our SmartThings application. That's what I utilize for the Z-Wave. I have a SmartThings hub, and this is how you can control your settings. So on the bottom right-hand corner is a More section. You click on that, then you click on where it says Hub is Online. So that is an actual tab or button. When you click on it, it will give you the settings, and you click on the Z-Wave Utilities and then click repair. That will give you a little warning that will let you know that it's going to take up to 10 minutes to recreate your Z-Wave network. And uh, once you click on that, it'll go through, it'll repair your network, and now things should communicate much better. Uh, I noticed that when I moved some stuff, stuff would go on and offline and not connect like it used to. And so then I just researched how to repair your network and that's why I'm making this video because there's not a lot of videos showing you how to repair your network. Once again, you just click on Z-Wave Utilities, Repair Z-Wave Network, and then click on the Start. And that should be it. Okay, here we go, final thoughts time. So if you're having problems with your devices, you might want to try repairing your Z-Wave network. Hopefully that will do the trick for you. Anyway, please subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. Or if you found this video helpful, click like. It helps the channel out. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here.